again, I just want to really clearly um, make sure that I am teaching this correctly. So when I talk about um, a vegetarian vegan diet, what I've seen out manifest in terms of my intelligence, my ability to assimilate information, handle stress, huge one, okay? I can handle stress much better when I'm on a pure vegetarian vegan diet than when I'm integrating meat products. Now, of course, I grew up with that meat and potatoes, hot dogs, hamburgers diet. So previously, all I knew was, you know, as a young child was to eat this way. But as I noticed a lot of anxiety, a lot of um, sort of depression, maybe lack of motivation in my younger years, I started to make dietary changes and things that would help me to uh, feel better in everyday life. And one of the really magical things that I um, changed in my in my world was to have this vegetarian diet. And whenever I sway from it, I get instantly tired. So if I would actually have, like say a chicken quesadilla or something like that, I get instantly tired and not able to really process information very rapidly. So what this has told me over the years is that there is something about the energy of fruit and vegetables that allows one to have a higher output of energy. And I feel it in my cells. I have like a, almost like a bounciness to my aura and how I can get tasks done and feel still this immense amount of joy and peace and love just emanating from my being. Where, whereas when I'm doing or if I have engaged in more uh, lower vibrational um, meals or anything substance related like alcohol, um, you know, recreational drugs, of course, I've, I'm not going to say I've never experienced, um, experienced trying those things. It's instantaneous. For me, it's like um, I get instantly sucked into the undertow. With foods, it's more of like this latent, slow, takes a few days to get out of my system to really get back to that love light energy with substances like alcohol or anything like that um, it is a rapid descent so due to the fact that they have so much sort of darkness calibrated into the experience I find a very rapid decline into a state of sort of um, debasing depression very rapidly and so for myself just a few experience dipping in and out of that and I just knew like it just was not going to be serving me in terms of my life path and observing how others so specifically derailed all of their progress and again that's the temptation that's that darkness that you can really get sucked into that will steal your soul in a sense it's you know when we look at it metaphorically it is actually a great way of teaching it having it taught as sort of a demonic force or an evil force or something that can suck you into this descent into you know an underworld or a hell-like world well 100 that's what it's like okay so there are factors surrounding it that especially if you're going through addiction or if you're living this lifestyle or experiencing somebody that's living this lifestyle you will um definitely feel a darkness around it and it is something that can completely take that person away from um, accomplishing really everything and anything it just you know and and there's parts of it as well that are seductive I mean if there wasn't some sort of temptation in it some sort of draw to it that darkness nobody would ever go there like it would just be so we have to be intelligent and insightful enough to know that there are going to be temp tempting facts or tempting um, elements to ex that experience or that escape. But that's exactly what it is. It's a very temporary, temporary, low vibrational escape that yields nothing. And furthermore to that, no, it, it actually yields like karma, like a negative, um, ripple effect that you create from dipping into those states that now you're you have to tr uh, climb twice as high to reverse that karmic energy that now flows around you so it's it's so detrimental and if this was only taught 
in each and every day of our life and and what we're going to experience in the future and i mean that's it's intuitive and it's obvious it's like well if you plant a garden yeah in however many months it's going to sprout but i don't know if people really analyze their daily activities with enough gravity and weight to understand what their future is going to actually look like i feel like a lot of people are quite asleep and they're not really paying attention it's like they seem to feel like life is this joy ride of messy kind of mistakes and i'll work it out later and yes it kind of is i mean if that's the kind of lifetime that you pre-planned or signed up for this sort of hedonistic um you know consume all consume others really help none and don't expand anything for the collective then that's the kind of lifetime that that you i guess will experience but it comes with it comes with consequences that play out in the landscape of your eternal learning your soul's calibration and so for me i'm always thinking of you know if i'm going to incarnate if i'm going to be in an existence what is the maximal effect that i can have with my life's out manifestation its tra trajectory how many others can i lift how many other forms of life can i protect or help to uh, make their existence better those are the types of ways of thinking that are really going to elevate one to the highest trajectory of a life experience and again what i found is that there is a greater and greater momentum and magnetism to the timeline in which you're going to see coming into your reality and this is where again this i don't want to call it miracle but things will start to happen synchronicities will start to happen for you that are beyond rational explanation it will just feel like divine energy is coming in to protect to lift to um support good works when you are doing things at that very high level and that's why i wanted to talk about this whole aspect of timelines because you're never ever locked into one way of living or if you're imagining or if you're having trouble seeing the trajectory of immense life changes based on what your experience is right now let it go because again what you're going to see happen in your manifested reality or that you know sight sound touch feel you know mechanical reality that you're experiencing is going to be based on your thought forms and how those thought forms are ringing true in terms of your actions so the more actionable things that you produce from what you are thinking feeling being in accordance with the highest truth of your actual home frequency actually who you are at your core is going to elevate you over and over and over through these synchronicities or people that are brought into your life or just really unique circumstances that is that feedback loop just con confirming over and over and over that the quantum field exists every time these things recalibrate or these magical people pop into your life or you know things just happen at hyper speeds whether it is a you know a movement or an opportunity or you know that that call that's coming you know to your phone saying you know this 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 wonderful thing has happened for you today or whatever it is you're going to see a really direct correlation and when you start to watch it you start to watch how well you are showing up for the world then the world starts showing up for you in this it's it has to match you it has to match your vibe. so again just in terms of you know what you want to manifest and how you want to manifest um paying attention to who and what you're really being paying attention to that highest output of 
what you are and allowing that openness within your energy to not be expectant in terms of an entitled way, but also to not be in a state of lack, worry, or um, depression, you know, or melancholy because you're not seeing something fantastic in your reality yet. You just have to trust. You just have to have that knowingness and that belief. And you, you show up by showing the universe, by showing the field over and over and over that this is you. Because if you just start doing good things because you want a result or you want to see some crazy, wonderful life manifest for you, that's not really authentic. That means you're doing it for a reward. You're doing it still from a selfish place because you know, you're looking for, you're looking for manifestation. I mean, even in the sense of watching videos about manifestation, it's great to learn about it. But if your core desire is because you really want just all of this great stuff just for yourself, you're still not at your highest calibration in terms of your thought forms. You have to just have this way of being become who you are. And when you, that, that way of being just becomes your highest principle because it just is, that's when the quantum field will recognize it. Because when there's an ulterior motive or when there's a desperation or, um, again, I just, I love the world the word entitlement. When there's this, I deserve this, I need this, you know, me, 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 that is not a very high expression of thinking. That's a very selfish expression of thinking. So what we need to attune our thoughts to, and, and don't push this, like if, if, you're, if your thoughts aren't this authentically, then you there's nothing you can do. You're still in that three-dimensional thinking and you're very much self-based and that's fine that's that's okay to be there i mean that's still going to produce results in terms of what you're seeing in your reality but when we can authentically move ourselves into this zone where we are doing for the greater good with no desire for anything else but just the fact that we know we are making others lives better that's when you kind of hit that miracle mindedness. That's when, again, if you have any interest in studying the Course in Miracles, this is the principle that is underlying a lot of the teachings in that text. So hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. Hopefully that clarifies a few things. I know I talked a little bit about addiction. I didn't get too much into it in this video, but just really paying attention to everything you're doing from a vibrational standpoint, how is it affecting your field? How are you able to show up in every moment? And are you calibrating in every moment the highest expression of your being? Because again, the higher you express in terms of that vibrational output, that's what you're gonna see in your outer world. That's who's gonna be magnetized to you, who you're gonna attract the opportunities and life will start expressing itself in greater beauty in that. Oh, sorry, I thought that was gonna end, but anyways, sorry. Um, life will keep expressing itself in that, um, you know, a greater um, sort of picturing, out picturing of beautiful life that's that's essentially what's going to happen and you'll just find a greater ease at dealing with everybody in your life uh, you'll you'll really remove feelings lower vibrational thought forms of suspicion or uh, jealousy lack feeling like you have lack of abundance you know sort of feeling like you are um, blowing in the wind not figuring out where you're going all of these kind of things so you'll have a greater just groundedness to your energy when you start to think feel act this way so hopefully you enjoyed this video you end up you know having a great day and thanks again for tuning in